Hey guys, what's going on in the kitchen? Today I want to show you a dish from when I was private chef to the Saudi Royals. I flew to Vegas just to find out the recipe, so you're going to want to stick around. Right, it is really, really simple, amazingly simple. So, the secret to the recipe is this, Lee Kum Key hoisin sauce. Use any other one and it's just not going to have the same result. It's just going to be really disappointing. So keep the jar because that is the measure. So if you want to make less, this is kind of going to make a, a double measure. So if you want to make less, just use a, a smaller container. But hoisin sauce, then use the jar to fill up with soy sauce. Straight in, brown sugar, exactly the same, nice and healthy, brown sugar in there, don't compress the sugar, just uh, leave it quite light, so it's, it's a full jar, but if you actually pushed it down, it probably it wouldn't, be, um, it wouldn't be that much. Empty that, empty that and then just one jar of water. Stick the lid on, give it a shake so you know you're getting everything out. And then ginger. I love ginger so I always go like heaped on that. And then probably like half the amount of garlic. So, and that's it, it's that easy. So, straight onto the stove. And then we're just gonna bring that up to the boil. And once it's up to the boil, then just uh, bring the temperature down slightly so it's just simmering. And you're just gonna cook that for about 15 minutes, just so it then becomes uh, slightly thicker. So, yeah, that is, that's it. So, while that's, um, while that's cooking down, we can jump onto the beef. And, uh, and get that ready and then we just bring everything together at the very end so um, it's a pretty quick and easy dish to um, to make and it makes it really easy just using that jar to to um, measure out the, the quantities so let's get into the beef okay the sauce has just come up to the boil so I'm just going to move it on to the back so it's on a on a lower heat and then put the frying pan on the front to get going to get it really really hot so um, I've got this is rump steak so uh, but obviously you can use whatever whatever you want or even just get like some stir fry steak from the butcher. Just gonna take the um, take the fat off and then what I want is really nice thin slices. So you can just uh, go in at the angle and then just get really nice thin slices but we'll just cook really really quickly and they'll just be like breaking falling apart when it's actually uh, actually cooked so even if you if you're having trouble to uh, to get it so thin then you just throw it in the freezer so it, it starts to firm up and that way um, if you're not so good with a knife you'll just find it much easier to uh, to get really thin slices so that's it, just work your way through that and then uh, we can start frying it off in batches. Okay, so I've just got a couple of portions here of, of beef and just gonna fire up the pan. So go in with some oil. So you really want it to, uh, to get it really, really hot. So don't worry if you use too much oil because we're actually gonna drain it out anyway because um, nowadays the the, um, the meat has a really high water content. So how I just prefer to do it is fry off the meat really quickly and then just make sure all the um, excess like liquid comes out because if that goes straight into your sauce, it just makes it, um, it dilutes it, makes it look dirty and you just won't get such a good end result. So fry it off really heavy, really hard, get a nice amount of color on it and then uh, just throw it into a sieve to drain off the liquid. Do it in small batches, and that way the uh, the heat will always stay in the pan. If you put too much in the pan, then the 
temperature of the pan's going to drop and then you just won't get the uh, like the colour on the beef and that colour is where all the flame comes from so it's really important that you get that colour make sure the beef breaks up and this is straight into a pan straight into the uh, into a sieve to drain and then just keep on doing that a little touch of touch more oil so this amount of sauce is because of the sugar content you can actually um, you can hold it for, for quite a bit of time so for the amount of feed I have I'm only going to um, I'm only going to need you know probably not even half of it so um, but it, it's really good if you just like later on in the week if you're cooking a steak or something even chicken you can just um, Lay the, uh, lay the spoon or two over it and just like makes an easy sauce for later in the week. Okay, so while that final batch is, is cooking, just flip over the board, grab your um, spring onions, and then you can just uh, have these ready. So as soon as the beef is done, then we can just um, I just like to throw them in, give them a bit of colour, and then, uh, and that's it. Once you actually add it to the sauce, bring it to the boil, then they're they're cooked. So that's all you need to do to those. Just cut them into batons, and then if you want the green part, you can just use as um, as garnish. So you can take off the tops because they're normally uh, a bit damaged, and then give yourself some like rondelles of the top of the spring onion. This is almost there. So that can come off. There's some flavor on the pan here. So this is now ready. And uh, you can see the, um, the consistency of it. And just like the shine, it's just uh, really, really nice. So, um, Gonna go in with the sauce there. Can add the beef to that. So you can see that the uh, like the liquid that's actually drained out of the um, out of the beef. Knock that one in. Just gonna quickly fry off the uh, quickly fry off the um, the spring onions. So just throw those in. Once they've got some colour then uh, you can just add it to the add it to the beef and then cook up some white rice and you're good to serve. Okay, so these have got some uh, colour, literally just adding that little bit of uh, colour onto them, throwing them into the into the beef and then that's it. Just a uh, bit of bit of rice and then got a really really tasty sweet beef dish everyone loves <laughs>